Hello world, Shannon Mack here. Can you hear us and can you see the screen? Well, it looks like they're hearing us. Awesome. So welcome to the first ever InView official stream hosted by your community manager, Shannon Mack here, the person speaking, if you didn't know. We are going to be working out some kinks with our first launch here, so bear with us if uh, anything happens. Uh, we've tried to uh, figure out any potential issues that could happen to make sure this uh, flows well, but we'll see how it goes. Just as a reminder, we're going to be giving away 5,000 credits at the end of this Twitch presentation. That person will be randomly selected. You have to be in chat, and remember that if you do win, you have to have a registered account so that we can actually send the credits to you. You do want to get your credits, right? Uh, but from that, uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to break this into four sections. The first section, we're going to be introducing Amanda, an employee here at uh, InView. Then we're going to go into the Community Digest events. And then we're going to go into the InView anniversary, some details about that. And then we're going to wrap it up with uh, a little bit of feedback. We have a question we want to pose to you for a, a future Twitch presentation. And then, of course, the closing contest with the credits. Um, each of those times, we're going to stop and uh, pick a few people out whose questions we'll answer. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to, to everybody, depending on how many people are on the channel here, but we'll try. On that note, I'm going to introduce Amanda, who is going to share uh, a little about, about herself. She is a program manager focused on community growth. Amanda, hi. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me okay? I think they can. Some people are saying hi. Hi, everyone. So I'm really happy to be here. This is my first Twitch stream, obviously. Um, I've been working with InView for a little bit. I'm a little bit of a noob still, so please don't make fun of my outfit. Um, I'm here to help try to grow the community engagement. So I'm going to run programs that help engage the community. So things like this Twitch channel, we're hoping we can have more of a direct line of communication with you all and answer some questions um, and just talk to you directly and see how you're feeling and you know, be open to the, your, your feedback. Yeah, so I think if users want to ask some questions to Amanda, they can, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to pick a few things out here. I'll, I'll let the stream go for a bit. Uh, thanks for the compliment, Sacker. I see it there. Uh, everything's coming in really fast here, so uh, <laughs> comments, uh, there's a lot. We're very happy to have a lot of people on here for our first launch and appreciate your participation. It looks like people are happy you're here, Amanda. Um, Someone, Beetle, is asking you, what's the weather like in our area? Well, it's, it's pretty sunny, but it's been raining all week. So right now there's some sun. Okay. Yeah, I think that's accurate, looking out the window. Yeah. And then I think there's one here that we're going to go with before we continue, Char Pixels, who's asking, Amanda, what's your fascination with InView? Easy my, question. My fascination? Hmm, I mean, probably the the best part about InView is dressing up for me. I know everyone has different ways that they use InView, but for me, dressing up has been the most fun. I have a lot of hair already. It's probably the thing I've bought the most. Uh, I have blue hair in real life, so I try to stick to having blue hair on my avatar. But other than that, I mean, shopping around and seeing all the amazing things that the creators have made has been really incredible. So I hope to see more. Awesome. Is there uh, perhaps one fun fact you'd like to share about yourself with the users? Oh, I think Shannon already knows what that would be, which is why he's asking, is <laughs> I am really obsessed with Batman. So I have pretty much Batman everything. I'm wearing a Batman sweater. I have a Batman sticker on my phone. Everything Batman. Cool. So now you all know. 
All right, so we're going to go on to some community events. Um, these were in the Community Digest recently, but we're going to highlight some points and then let some people ask some questions. Um, all of the contests I'm mentioning here have some form of winnings in credits. So I suggest you go over there and check, check it out if you have any interest. Uh, Inview.com forward slash help. If you go over there, you can click over to the discussions and go over into the contest section and find a lot of these. They're also linked in the community digest that went out uh, earlier. So first off, we have St. Patrick's Day Feed Contest, which ends on March 22nd. Basically, this is in the spirit of feeling the luck of the Irish and wearing your green and putting it out onto your feed and sharing it with everybody. Uh, top winners will be getting credits. Next up, uh, this is arguably a bit late, Mardi Gras and Carnival, which were earlier, but we wanted to extend it out for our users. It has a similar theme where people wear their best carnival attire and take a photo and put it up on their feed. Top winners also get credits for that. And then one that we are particularly proud of, which is up now and going until March 22nd, I believe, is the Women's Empowerment Month Writing Contest, where uh, our top writers will get to write about the woman who has inspired them the most, and the top winners will receive credits, and mark the marketing team may uh, be uh, influenced to take some of those things and put it up on their blog. So that's pretty cool by itself, in my opinion. Next up, we have Holy, I think I'm saying that right, which is a Festival of Colors contest, which ends on the 23rd. And then brought to you by moderator Candy Apple of the community is the Seven Deadly Sins character contest, where you create a character based on the Seven Deadly Sins and write it up in a thousand words or less. And that's all of the contests for now. Went a little faster than I thought. I saw a really good question. That's Laura, question? by the way. She came in. Say hello, Laura. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Laura because the microphone's pretty far away from her, but she says hello, and she said she spotted a good question. What Oops. was it? The question, well, somebody said uh, it's pronounced imbue all these years. I thought it was imbue. Oh, so I saw a couple related to that too. So Imview, I also thought it was IMVU before mm -hmm. I started working here. Me too. And everyone here says Imview. I also saw someone asked a bit ago, um, who came up with the name Imview? Do you know? Well, the facilities manager told me that back in the day, they had to come up with some, an address online and that those letters were the least inexpensive but i don't know i don't know the whole details it's to me it's sort of an urban legend uh according to the wiki and the people i speak to in view doesn't necessarily mean anything it was just something they picked out but uh yeah i agree with all of you when i first was interviewing here it was I thought it was MV, or imvu and people still called imvu which sounds weird to me now because everybody here says in view, which just flows more naturally, right? Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Um, I see someone saying, that sounds horrible, stick to IMVU. <laughs> I think that's fine. You can say it however you like, Yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I totally agree. Just whatever, whatever works for you in communicating it. And I also think that, um, you know, there's a lot of little interesting tidbits about InView's history, which we can share with users over time but not in this presentation as we do have to get through some things. Though I do think we should open it up to a few more questions, especially if there, there are any questions about the contest. Um, if not, we're then gonna go next to the anniversary details, which ha is its own special category, of course. April 1st, no joke, by the way. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Yeah. Has anyone in the, uh, any employees of the company been there since day one? I assume they mean that are still with the company? Whoa. Do you still have any founders? No. No. Well, Laura says no. On the board. On the board. On the yeah. board. Oh, okay. We do, we do on Eric the board. Eric Rees, right? Mm -hmm. Eric Rees is on the board, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I believe uh, Guy started the Will lean. Harvey. Will yeah. Harvey is on the board. Yeah. 
I've seen him come and speak at the mm -hmm. fair, but I've never seen Eric come speak. Wow, I hope they're hearing you from over that table area over there, Laura. <laughs> but we'll, we'll find <laughs> out know. soon enough. So, <laughs> from way over here. Inview is about to turn 14. So that would be a long time to stay with one company. Yeah. There are some people who have been here for eight, nine, ten years and a little more, um, which is pretty impressive because the average time at a job in Silicon Valley, our area, is about two years, I think, right? Someone's trying to troll us from one of the windows there and interview staff, but we, we ignored it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... I mean, being, being, I mean, there's a lot of people who've been here for four, six years uh, and whatnot. So that, that, that is impressive, I think, because I think it's because of the strength of InView's culture and the fact that this is the type of place where you can be yourself, maybe even a little eccentric, but you can still be respected and communicate your ideas and still get the job done, which is nice. Gob King says we can hear Laura. So Yay. that's good. <laughs> Yay, Laura. <laughs> so you want to you wanna tell, the, tell uh, our people uh, who you are and what you do real, real uh, fast in, you know, a few minutes? Can I join your chat? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, how do we invite people? I'm still a noob, so. Uh, you mean the chat in client right now? Yeah. Well, there's some tech issues there, so uh, I don't, right. I don't, well, actually, no, wait. I might be able to bring you in here. The, okay. the screen on here is a little weird. If somebody had asked uh, about but let's bring you in. if you can be a guy, can you enter? Uh, has... The women's empowerment is yeah. probably what he's asking about. Yeah, you, I, I think you can because you're, you're writing a contest about the woman who's inspired you the most. So why not? Yeah, why However, however you identify yeah. yourself, and whatever it is. And you feel being male means you can't be inspired by a female, right. that might limit you. Yeah, I think that's totally fine. Totally acceptable. That's a good question, by the way. Before we uh, go on to the next subject, is there anything else that somebody wants to ask in regards to the contest? I see a lot of other questions here, which is awesome. Someone asked what Amanda's favorite Batman character is. It's really easy. It's Batman. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> So there are a lot of questions here, uh, not quite related to the contest. So I think we're gonna we're gonna move on to the anniversary. All right, that good with you, Amanda? Wait, 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 wait. I wait, thought wait, we were wait. gonna I thought we were gonna show the the feed takeover. Oh, you want to show that? Well, why don't we do that now? Yeah. I'll, I'll let you do that since you have a little more expertise than me with this. For International Women's Day, Laura and uh, was it Prim? Yeah. Laura and Prim uh, coordinated a, a flash mob feed takeover that came out really cool, and I have some pictures to show you if you missed it, but everyone did the uh, pose. And you can see here. Awesome. I'm sorry my hack together setup, but this was the best I could do with this laptop. It but it looked really laptop. cool. Oh, this was so cool that it was just pages of we can do it. It's just really inspiring and cool to see the community come together like that. Now, didn't you uh, didn't you work uh, on that Valentine's one too as a program manager and? You were one of the main people that helped organize that when a lot of employees, it was a Valentine's one, right? Where my avatar yeah. held the amazing sign, I think? Yeah, the Valentine's Day uh, employee flash mob was my first experience into an employee flash mob here. And that was a crazy day. That was a, a really fun and crazy day, getting everyone uh, that signed up in the company to actually get into the client and take a picture and post it at the right time because we had to post them in order uh, it was it was fun to coordinate and kind of crazy and hectic but it was it was really fun glad to hear it so is there anything else before we go to the envy anniversary amanda or laura 
we're okay moving it along or anything you guys are seeing in the feed that should be brought up um, pause <laughs> i'm just trying to find a way to sit next hey no worries yeah so you could uh, just stand creepily behind us <laughs> That is creepy. <laughs> and I was like right behind creepy. you. And I put down some notes, but I can't read them myself. It's weird. So this was posted in the uh, community discussions for InView's 14th anniversary celebration, but there are a number of things going on. Uh, keep an eye out for the flash mob during our anniversary weekend. So that's going to be during the uh, April 1st weekend, of course. Uh, oh, hey. hmm? Shannon, there's... V Purple Sprite asked, what do you win from the contest? The contest. Which contest? So, I don't know which one, but did you tell them what they win from each contest? Yeah. So, I mean, no, we have time. We're on. We're going at a good pace. So, let me just uh, look through here. I'm going to start with the women's empowerment one, since we spend a little time on that one. The top winners are going to win, if they're picked... The top 10 authors will win 8,000 credits, and honorable mentions will get 2,500 credits. And it's possible the marketing team, as I said, will use some of the best content for their blog and social media feeds. Let's see here. Mardi Gras Carnival event, for those asking. <laughs> Did someone just run by the room there? <laughs> oh, Laura. Okay, I thought that looked weird. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. Keeping the, the comic relief <laughs> available. <laughs> we're going to have to boot her out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for, I mean, I don't know if I, if, if it, if we want to go through every single uh, winning contest, but like most, most of these contests are set up so that multiple people can win. And I personally like to have honorable mentions to include people, which is sometimes credits or from the wish list. And when there's a really big turnout, I like to always say, hey, let's have a grand prize winner, which is even more, and let's create some more slots of winners and more honorable mentions. So um, these contests are set up as a way where it's not just like the top three people. We, we like to reward people who put in their best effort here, and we appreciate it as well. So if someone isn't like taking over my avatar over there, Laura, perhaps <laughs> we can go to the anniversary? If that's okay with you. <laughs> oh yeah, let's talk about the anniversary. Yeah, so um, we spent a lot of time talking about what we were going to do here, and you know, flash mob is obviously one thing that's on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash imvu or imvu if you prefer. Um, that's going to be going during uh, Friday, March thirtieth, twelve p.m. Pacific for the special anniversary weekend outfit challenge announcement. You can look around for that. Remember to log into InView on March 30th onto InView's 3D chat client, not mobile, to collect a special gift to participate in the weekend outfit challenge. Uh, also remember that on April 1st, there's two things to keep in mind here. Log in to client on chat to collect a room to help you celebrate the InView anniversary with us. And lastly, I worked with the design team to have a badge created to celebrate our anniversary, which will be on my homepage, which is avatars, plural, dot imvu dot com forward slash Shannon Mac. We will be posting, we'll probably be posting some of this uh, in the feed too, I think. So let's see if there's any questions here. I see Laura continues to troll us in a fun way. <laughs> in a fun way. <laughs> I would just like to say we are trying to keep up with questions, but it is a little hard with so many of you talking. So we're doing our best. Um, just please try not to spam the chat. Someone asked me to say 2221, so I have said it. You're welcome. Or 2221, if you prefer it individually. Hopefully they won a bet or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hope you won a I bet. Don't, I don't know what the significance of that is. I do keep seeing questions about, um, I saw one about technical questions. Mm -hmm. 
So would that be a help article thing? Because I don't think we're the people to answer technical questions. Yeah, so I think if you're ever, if you're ever looking for information, imvu.com forward slash help will take you over to our, our, our community center, our help center, and you can browse the help articles to see the various help articles on different things like filing, filing help for your case. Uh, and sometimes those help articles can answer questions so you don't have to wait for an agent to get back to you. You can also go into the discussions and there's a lot of experienced people in there who can direct you to file help, get help, if they contact us, or sometimes they can answer questions for you and you don't have to wait to hear back from an agent. So uh, there's a lot of options there. We, we try to make the information accessible as much as possible. Uh, if you're a VIP, you can also do a live chat where you chat with an agent in a pretty fast period of time as well, or faster compared to if you're not VIP, depending on who you talk to. <laughs> Anything else we got there? Oh, another person, another staff member going by the open window of meeting room here, trying to troll us. Making faces at us. Throwing himself on the glass, <laughs> screaming silently at us. <laughs> of course, it's just as well, since we have uh, Laura with the top hat in, coming at us from this is, different angles. This is the kind of place InView is, is we just troll each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Yeah, I think I think Laura probably planned this out ahead of time, so <laughs> she claimed she didn't. <laughs> She's just pro oh at this. <laughs> the, the pogo horse is the best. This yeah. isn't even my regular account inventory either. We didn't even know she was coming into the meeting room. She just kind of came in, and here yeah, she the is. Staff just by and do things outside the window. I just want yeah, to yeah, Laura's just like, like, I'm included. Yeah, we have a sign that says, quiet, please, out in front. Everyone else is kind of tiptoeing by, you know, a few people are trolling us. Laura's like, yeah, I'm just going to come in since we work together a lot. It's like, oh, okay. All right, then. So I think the anniversary thing is covered. So maybe it's time to ask about a little feedback about some of the ideas Amanda and I were talking about. That idea that we have been kicking around is we think it would be cool to have some guest speakers from different departments of InView come in and talk. Um, we have a few people in mind. Some of them are a little resistant and a little nervous, as to be expected, but we think we can get them in. And right now, we just want general feedback if that's something you would be interested in, which you can leave in the Twitch uh, channel here and which I can also put in the community discussions uh, if people want as well. I think some will and we'll take your feedback and, and see how much interest there is and then if we get somebody who isn't sure about it we can say hey all these users really want to hear from you that will uh, push them off the fence and make them participate. Uh, I have a I'm thinking of somebody from product in particular uh, we definitely have to have somebody from marketing at some point too, especially where there's some new and exciting things. There are definitely engineers that would be happy to come yeah. and talk. So if there are topics about that. Yeah, definitely some engineers. I think I think there's a lot of people we could draw from who who would be very interested in doing this, and then depending on how that goes, we can make it a regular thing. Like I was thinking of starting slow, like maybe one every two or three months, depending on how much prep is involved. But I'm really curious. I think I think it's a good way for InView staff to reach out to a lot of people, right? And you could ask questions, which might even get replied to by that person when they're in the room. So let us know how you feel about that. Go ahead and put it in the uh, Twitch discussions. Uh, I will start something up today in the community discussions, and people can post there as well. Uh, you can also feel free to reach out by other ways if you feel... Uh, more comfortable doing that. I, I paused a second there if you notice because I'm looking at what's on the screen thanks to Laura there. <laughs> it's a pretty nice boat. It takes work to troll. I mean, getting all these products together and moving like this, you think it's easy, but she's clicking like crazy over there. So you should give her some applause, people. <laughs> sharp pixels. Is that supposed to be sharp, sharp pixels like Sharpe? Like sharp pixels? But anyway, sharp pixels asks. If InView staff ever interact with 
people in chat rooms like normally and I would say yes a lot of us use the client here and chat with people and go into rooms some of us have mm -hmm. alternate accounts that aren't marked as staff mm -hmm. just so we can normally use the client yeah I mean with my staff account I go into a variety of rooms and there's a room I go into that plays uh, interesting music and I go in there quite often because I like to have an idea of what songs are relatively popular because I do pick some of the songs that go onto our music page. I, do, I handle the community high five. Um, that's why you also see me doing contests for music, which gets put up there as well to see what people want. Somebody asked me if I like McDonald's. I forget whose name that is because the stream's going really fast. Um, the answer is no. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have more information on that. Oh, no, uh, sponsorship. <laughs> oh, However, if McDonald's is sponsoring us, I may be inclined to change my opinion, <laughs> say the PR people them. over there <laughs> flashing messages at me. <laughs> uh, I do have a lot of friends who enjoy McDonald's, though. So, yeah. What else? Someone's asking about K-pop. Yeah, I was like, I agree. Would you like to comment on that? You so, should add more K-pop to the music page. I did add. I agree. I did add a K-pop song that you gave me since you're a big K-pop fan. That's from true. What I recall, right? When I first started, Shannon asked for some music ideas for the music page, and all I gave him was K-pop, and he couldn't find any, and I was very disappointed, and I told him. We did put yeah, we did put one up there, but it wasn't quite what you wanted. It was. Yeah. They, were, they were imitating another style of music from what I recall. Yeah. So. K-pop is awesome for the record. If you haven't seen any K-pop, you should look up uh, H-Y-U-N-A and check her out. She has some amazing music and hilarious music videos. So uh, in regards to uh, staff chatting with users, one thing we are toying with is bringing people through like a lottery or some other means, a contest, who knows, into this chat room while we're doing the live feed. So you would be in this room with us. I will warn you now, though, that if Laura is here, she'll be trolling you equally as much as the rest of us, so you enter at your own risk. But we are, we are, we are seriously talking about bringing some people into this. It could be a, a prize thing or a random picking. So that would certainly be another way for pe people enter it, who want to interact with staff. Oh, another person trying to troll us by the window. We'll just ignore that. Oh, they already Laura, went by. Too slow. <laughs> Laura, how do I get these dances? Uh, click on yourself and scroll down the list. Um, scroll down the triggers list. I'm doing it. All right, so she's fooling around with that. Where is it? Okay, which trigger is it? It's the one that says tap dance. Inview official, asked by a very bright name here, Lonely Potato. How long have you guys been in the game industry? I love potatoes. <laughs> like, how long have you and I been in the game industry? I think they're asking how long you've been in the gaming industry, and then me. Yeah. You, Amanda. And then Notorious asked us to repeat your job position, which we'll go over afterwards. No pressure, by the way. <laughs> oh, well, I've been in gaming basically. I mean, I don't know how to answer that because I've always been a gamer and I've always dabbled in game dev. Um, I, I guess officially probably just about five years total, but like actually working at a real job. So that's that's about how long I've been in the gaming industry, but I've just, from the time I can remember, I've been playing games and trying to make them. You mean they, don't, they, you mean they pay you to work here? I thought, you, I know, I thought I, we just did it for free. That's, that's the big thing, <laughs> right? Do it for free, live under a bridge. Exactly, but I <laughs> Wait, mean. Come to work the next day. Always do what you love. Wait, yeah. is Inview a real job? Did you have to fill out a job application? <laughs> no, you just you just send a DM to Shannon. Yeah, I do get a lot. I do get a lot of those, and I have a form letter that I send when people ask, "How do I apply?" No, wait. There was the funniest prank one time. 
Uh-oh. That was funny. Do you remember? Uh-oh. When we may want to mute here. Somebody. No, I think it's fine. <laughs> there was somebody who's, who's put in out a message. Somebody with, like, thousands of users put out, or thousands of friends put out a message saying something like, DM uh, Shannon Mac if you want a special surprise. Yes. <laughs> I know I know what special user did that. Yes, that was when my when one of the many times when my inbox was filled, and then and then users say, "Why haven't you replied to me?" And I'm like, "Well, Why, what's my in the last 24 story? hours, a thousand people inboxed me, and you're at the bottom." Sorry, <laughs> didn't quite get to them that day. Uh, yeah, so it's interesting. Um, just to carry off people who are asking uh, about Amanda. Amanda is a program manager focused on community growth, and she's uh, connected with the marketing team. I'm connected with customer care, but I overlap with the marketing team. And uh, people probably wanna know some of the things, maybe you can give a, a, a rehash of some of the things you mentioned early on about what you do in the very uh, general sense. I will say that uh, Laura and I were part of the team on site that interviewed Amanda and liked her enough to say, hey, Let's get her hired, right? Good job, Amanda. I do fun things. That's what I do. When someone asks you what you would like to do? Well, that's what I do. Oh, that's your job. That's my job. It's fun things. It's fun things. That's my job description. Mine isn't. Mine is only really unfun. Things. Yeah, Laura, Laura's job description is <laughs> anything not fun yeah, is under her us. <laughs> responsibility. <laughs> I'm the manager oh. of not fun. <laughs> yeah. So Ar Arson Devarg has a question. Okay. How can someone get the purple greeting badge? Well, in order to get the purple greeting badge, you have to be in the greeter program. You have to be in order to be selected for that. You have to fill out the application. If you look in the community discussions in the uh, news section. There's uh, one area there that has a link to the, to the application on how to apply to become a greeter. Uh, I will warn you now that if you are accepted, the response can take about eight weeks, maybe longer. The reason for that is we opened it up to the community recently and we literally were slammed with applications. Uh, we are growing the greeter program though and we are planning to do a lot with it. Uh, so if you have an interest in that, I would uh, check it out and uh, send an application in. Uh, we do not reply to people who are not accepted. We simply do not have the uh, resources for that. There's too many people applying. We only uh, contact the people who are accepted in the program who receive a PDF with basic instructions and everything. And then once you're there, um, based on your activity, your greeter badge will be displayed. Thanks for asking that question. Anything else before we get to the closing Wrap contest? Up, yeah. I mean, I think we can answer a, a few more questions potentially. We may want to scroll up here. I mean, this feed's going like crazy. If somebody thinks something got missed, if they came in late, they can mention that yeah. too, right? We're, we're okay mentioning some things again if needed. If I already submitted to the first Mardi Gras contest, is this another contest? It's the same contest, right? There's just one Mardi Gras contest. Yes. Okay. Mardi Gras and Carnival were put together because, well, it was a little easier that way, even though some people would nitpick and say they're different. I agree they are different, but the person who was putting that contest together kind of wanted to put them together, and I think that was okay. So yeah, uh, per the instructions, of that contest, which I believe is one submission, uh, just do one, and we'll get to get to who the winners are when it closes, and the judges decide. Whoa! Somebody changed in the client room there, Laura. <laughs> Hello. If you ever have any uh, contest ideas or questions about events, remember you can always email the IMVU or MVU community team. Please specify whether you're emailing IMVU or MVU. Yeah, every time you email, make sure you tell us how you pronounce MVU or IMVU. 
Ash Memes asked if Cat's Bits will be coming to this channel for tutorials sometime. I he think says, that is a possibility. We have to talk with with Jazz Cat about that. Um, just we to, love Cat's Bits. Yeah, he's we great. host his channel here sometimes. So if you guys haven't checked out Cat's Bits, he has great tutorials on Blender on how to create things for InView. Should check him out. He might be helping me uh, do something for InView Pride as we prepare for that. Another me another mesh and another uh, texture contest. Uh, just as a as a rewind here, if you want to reach the community team, uh, for those who don't know the email, it's community team at imview dot com. So um, I think uh, uh, Amanda or Laura can can put that into the feed if needed. Uh, but uh, you know we a group of us do read those emails and everything and we try to get back to people remember to include your avatar name we like to, we prefer to reach people by their avatars than direct emails well streams really going any others somebody said they love my voice but well what who wouldn't up, what if they have me mixed up with amanda they do really we do we sound the same I don't think we do, but if that's something we need to mix up, I don't know. We both have, you know, a in our name, two A's in our name. Wait, you have three? Yes. Oh. I had to think about it. <laughs> I'm spelling it in my head. Don't judge me. Do you want to share your, your avatar name, Amanda? I don't know if we did that in detail. And so some people missed it. My staff account is Vumaru. So Vu because of Imvu, obviously. And Maru is a Japanese word for circle. Oh. You can take that meaning however you like. Could you pronounce that again for us? Vu Maru. Okay, cool. Oh, one is more alto and one's more soprano. Which one? Is, <laughs> Someone's which asking one? that, really? <laughs> I think Amanda would you be are. the alto. Yeah, oh. I'm definitely an alto because I'm getting over a cold. So my voice is lower. So we won't know if it's really you next time. Yeah. Switched you out for when your voice right? changes. Next time, Hello? next time you won't recognize me. I'll Hello, sound. Everybody. I'll sound like a little anime character. <laughs> yeah. Or just like me. Uh, I'm just gonna play it myself <laughs> and Amanda. <laughs> Some people are asking about your the spelling of your name. You can put it in there if you haven't. If somebody hasn't already, if you prefer. Um, no doubt you'll be getting some messages, Amanda. Feel free to reach out. All right. I'm happy to listen to feedback um, or ideas about what you think. I mean, obviously try to keep it constructive, but I'm, yeah. I'm open to directly communicating with people. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we are probably going to fine-tune this. I mean, we, the Community Digest was part of the soft launch to see how it goes, make sure the equipment's working, make sure people are interested enough and in asking questions. In time, we may shift this to something else, right? It may be highlights of the community digest, or it may be special things that you hear first. Um, who knows, right? But uh, I don't know. Is there is there something else we want to talk about, or any any other questions I, in here that are burning to be answered? I think it's time. All right, I believe the wheel must be spun or however this is going to be done. <laughs> but because we're introducing Amanda, I believe Amanda is spinning the wheel. So this is to see who randomly gets 5,000 credits. And okay. Pam, hmm? everyone, drum roll, please. Da, 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 I can't do this forever. Yeah, yeah, that's better. I hope that's not too loud for the microphone. Everyone's like, ah. Ah, my ears. And the winner is Lonely Potato 5. Lonely Potato 5. You are the winner. Congratulations. We Now, uh, Lonely Potato 5, make sure that your avatar name is the same. No, 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 no. Right? They don't or have do you to, know how to reach out. So I will. You know how to reach so out? Either send cool. me a DM or I'll DM you, but send me your InView username and we will get you your 5,000 credits. Lonely Potato 5. All right. Awesome. Congratulations. And I think on that note, 
Unless Laura wants to troll us some more in the room. I put on my potato avatar. <laughs> Is that not appropriate or what? I think that's appropriate. Do you, don't you, Amanda? I'm jealous. Because you don't have a potato avatar? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to work that out later. I mean, that's the other thing you like besides Batman, <laughs> isn't it? She likes Batman and potatoes. That's yeah. true. I do really like potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I want to thank everybody for coming out, and uh, we tried to answer as many questions as we could. Originally, we were going to try and keep this short to 15 or 20 minutes, but we are at about 40 minutes, so that yeah. that tells us it's good to go longer, I think, because we got more covered and we were able to answer more questions. So let us all know what you guys thought of this. It was our first time doing this, and you know we'll try other things as well, but... You know, let us know if you had fun. Let us know if you want to hear more. And just keep in touch with us. Yeah, and I think we're planning to tentatively do this maybe once a month. But it could change. You know, over time we might do more depending on how much people like this. I think that's accurate. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, everybody. We will talk to you later. Thank and... you all. Say well, goodbye, Laura. Say goodbye, Laura. You guys should tap dance with me to say goodbye. I don't have tap dancing. Did you put it on? I don't have it. But I sent it to you. I think that should have been planned before, not on the spot. I'm just putting that out there. That, I, we like your spontaneity, I mean, but... this whole thing was on the spot, right? American tap dancing. We're about to say goodbye here. I sent you both, and then I saw you receive. You know oh, what? The flying gift box. That may have to wait. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't from this setup. This this laptop we're using this wasn't is kind of perfectly old. ideal, yeah. but we did our best, so I hope it was okay. We'll do we'll try to do better, you know, each time. Right. So, baby steps. Yeah. All right, thanks everybody. Thank thanks you for coming again. by. Bye-bye. Bye.